Hello, welcome back to another video. We are, what are we gonna do, Joe? Drink coffee? <laughs> we did stop at the coffee bean, and I will let you know what we have, iced um, oat milk lattes. That's our go-to at the coffee bean. So, we are actually on our way to tour another set of homes. We've actually looked at these, looked at these back in January, mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to look at them one more time before we make a decision, and we have an appointment today to talk with one of the salespeople. So we're gonna show you these homes, and they're completely different. Different builder, different style, it's very hard to pick. We, ha I think we've kind of narrowed it down to two. Yeah, least, I think. I, so this one, I'll just share this. This, as far as the way our, uh, where our jobs are and things like that the location of this one is a little bit better than the ones we just looked at We might like the overall homes better on the ones we just looked at that you've seen last time So that's where we're torn is do we pick location, location or or more the, home more basically. home more space? Yeah. so it's gonna be a tough decision, but it, I think we kind of have an idea of what we're gonna be approved for. So it's kind of just up in the air and, and whatever home's available. But I, I told her last night, and I think she agrees, like we're not in a hurry. So we're gonna take our time and pick the right home for us. Um, and we don't really plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So we want this to be exactly what we want. Like I said, that's that's really why we're not in a hurry. So yeah. if nothing else, it gives us more time to save up more for a down payment, mm -hmm. uh, get more prepared to move in and bring furniture in that we want, beds that we want, whatever the case is. So yeah, we're, we're excited, but we're not in a huge hurry, so. Yeah, and I also think like not rushing into it also makes it so you aren't rushing into um, like the first thing you see, you're actually taking time to look at the details, the location, um, to look at it multiple times because you can go look at a home one time and be like, yes, I love it. And then go back and be like, wait, I was so excited looking at it that I don't know if I actually like it anymore. So we're not desperate. No, we're not desperate. We're very happy where we are. We plan to hopefully retire here. So, you know, this might be our first home and then we might sell late years later or we might be in it forever. So we're just taking our time and it's been really fun to share all of that. So we are we're gonna go to location number two and we'll take you with us okay first house is a four bedroom three full bath and just to remind you we have gone through these homes before we went through them in January and things have really changed because we actually were able to sit down and talk with the sales rep and a lender today and um, that's all I'm gonna say we'll, we'll go through the rest of the video but it does have the guest bedroom and full bath downstairs right off the garage which we really really like because we want a space for our family to come visit now we don't have family coming every single week or every single month but this is an important feature that we wanted in our home because we've always wanted a space for guests to come and you know fill up and visit and it might not be all the time, but again, it's just something that we really wanted. We also wanted the open concept. And when you guys look at this kitchen, it is just speaking to me. It's light gray cabinets that almost appear to be white, but they are light gray. The countertop is that waterfall countertop. Now I will say, when you're looking at model homes, this is something I might not have stated exactly in the last video, but this is with all the upgrades and features um, that the builder can give you. Basically, they're giving you the best of the best and they're showing you that in these homes. You also have the option to look at the home that is a basic option, which we did not walk through because we kind of have some idea of what we are looking for when it comes to building and what this builder gives us for options. So yes, this is like, you know, the best of the best, all the bells and whistles that they can give you. But also when you're walking into this home, you have the price and the layout of all these features. So you can look at the basic model if you want to, or you can look at, you know, the very done up model. There's a couple things in this home that I personally would um, do differently. Um, but not very many just kind of like the accent wall that you might have seen that kind of looks like the farmhouse I don't really love that. I love how much storage is in this home though um, There's tons of closet space. There's also the loft upstairs. There's lots of bedrooms lots of bathrooms I love the floor. I love the kitchen. I really love it this wall right here um, I don't like accent walls like this and I will tell you it's because it's a little too uh, modern and also I feel like it's a little too trendy and everybody has their own different taste on that but that's just something that I don't love it's also a little too farmhouse for me I'm not a farmhouse style person I like more of the Spanish style home 
um, that's usually traditional where we live. So upstairs we have fully carpeted and this is something that comes with the home unless you want to replace it with tile or with wood flooring that's an option that you can upgrade into but this is a three bedroom upstairs with tons of closet space and they've actually already added in the closet into the loft in case you want to close it off into a bedroom and another feature in this home is it actually has this the office space which I really love for me um, already built into the loft so that was really awesome but again this can turn into a bedroom if you want to upgrade and put up another wall the closet is already back here but if you don't make this a bedroom you can have this as storage which sounds really nice to maybe have a future playroom with lots of toys and have a closet so you know additionally as you grow your family you want a lot of storage so that way um, you can grow with your home and that's kind of what we're looking for. We want to grow with it So this is the laundry room and all the laundry rooms are about the same size in all these houses And I will point out this is the little mat that they put down for The washer because someone did ask like why the washer and dryer upstairs in case of leaks. There's usually no um you know super hazardous things with comes with that that's why they keep putting them upstairs just for convenience so that way all your you know washing options you don't have to carry laundry up and down the stairs which is a huge complaint with most homeowners so i'm just kind of briefly showing you the two would be kids bedrooms upstairs uh, and then hi <laughs> and then there's a mirror on the wall and then this is the upgraded bathroom to match the downstairs kitchen which is also an option I like how spacious it is. Something that I keep in mind is how much room you have to bathe kids because honestly, if you've ever bathed a child in a small bathroom space, it's very, very difficult. Onto the master here, which is very beautiful. We have the closet off to the side, which is huge. All the master um, closets were just ginormous with this builder. And then we go into the bathroom. It's a good space. Um, you can see they have it filled up really well to kind of show you how much furniture you can get into this space and then these tiles are actually upgraded as well and then this is the upgraded shower um, there's no bathtub in this one so it just kind of depends um, what we decide to go with house number two is a four bedroom with a possible upgrade if you wanted to take this office and make it into a fifth uh, bedroom by adding a door and then it's a three full bath so again if this was an option for us we would probably make that into a bedroom and these are upgraded tiles i'm just kind of pointing out some things as i was talking in the video but this is a very different kind of layout it has a lot more modern features and as they're showing it it's with the darker wood i don't love this kitchen layout i'm not really sure what it is compared to the other one i don't i don't know if it's like the shape or the maybe even the dark features that i don't feel right away because it has like the lighter floors and then the darker cabinets and the darker furniture and compared to the other one that kind of has that more farmhouse feel with the wood floors and the like the whites and the grays but this one has very dark sharp modern features but anyways it's just again what the builder can show you what options you can upgrade to um, to kind of give you a visual of what you're looking at and then when you go to pick out your items when it comes to going to the warehouse and deciding you know what you want to upgrade or what you want to keep basic then you have lots of options so different kit which is also standard um, to the uh, model itself so you could do carpet or no carpet or tiles completely up to you know the builder and then this one and the next one I'm going to show you has like the really big grand entrance to the master it's a double door and then you have the laundry upstairs as well which is about the same size laundry room and then you have the towel closet off to the side and all of these houses actually have the loft feature which we really like just to kind of have that family room if we want it um it, again it's really good if you have children or kids you can have a playroom or a family room and then each house you're going to see keeps getting bigger and the closets keep getting bigger uh it's insane actually to me how spacious and how much closet there is going on in these houses because some of the closets are bigger than like my bedroom as a child or my bedroom in my first apartment so it's crazy to me and again the um tiles and the sinks and everything in the bathrooms match the kitchen downstairs so they also have that dark wood and white granite or white marble i think it was i don't think it was granite but here is the loft it's a very very big very very spacious um i will say this is my least favorite of the three houses that we looked at today i think it's just because of the dark wood and the more modern less timeless vibes of the house but again large bedrooms and lots of space to grow
Okay, last home. <laughs> it's totally massive. Like the square footage is just massive to me. I walk in this home and I just think like, I need to have like 16 children to fill it up. It just seems so large. You have a lot of extra space, like even in your entrance here and the stairway and coming into the living spaces. Again, open concept, but you just have more square footage. And that's great if you have a really big family. We're just looking at the two of us right now, hopefully um, adding children in later in life and then having space to have company and guests. I will say that kitchen, once we go back to it, I actually really didn't mind the uh, lighter wood which was really surprising to me this is the garage entrance and then you come around to your ensuite downstairs for your guest room or your downstairs master whatever you wanted to use it for and then it did have a full bathroom which was really nice it was um, a really nice feature to this home obviously being it that was already huge but it, again it's something that we really wanted in our first home so then you're coming back out into the living space and the floor was really pretty and I feel like it matched the kitchen really well. And I really like, I think, the contrast of the white and the lighter wood, which we were talking about in here. And I was like, I'm actually surprised that I like this. It also had the double oven feature and a really beautiful backyard. And we do know with these builders, we know the lot size, we know the size of the backyard and everything. So the model homes do have a larger backyard than what you're getting in your lot size. So that is something to just kind of keep in mind if you are building a home with your builder, don't always think that the model home is what you're going to get unless you are paying for the lot size and you're paying for the upgrades and you're paying you know, for everything that you visually see. Um, I think that's something that's a misconception when it comes to building your own home. I think a lot of people walk in and they think like, oh, this is the home that I'm getting for the price that I see online and it's not that way. So just make sure you're educated and you know what you're getting and you know what you're purchasing um, or you even know what you're kind of asking for. So again, this is a big home. I'll show you the upstairs. You'll be very impressed with the size of the loft and the master and the master closet. It's just insane, but I'm just going to let you kind of walk through it with us and we'll come back and check in with you once we're done touring the homes. We've been talking for a little while. We left about a half hour ago. So I think I already said this, but we already looked at these homes in January and we love them. When we originally looked, um, 
but we decided to look at two other builders one two weeks ago which we really disliked and then one last weekend which we we really liked mm -hmm. um but then we decided to go back to this first place because we're like okay we're kind of in between two the first one we liked and then the one we liked and and honestly <laughs> so we this time we you know kind of had a little bit of comparisons to do between the last weeks and this week's and overall these are a little bit smaller mm -hmm. but we one of the biggest things that we've been trying to get away from is chasing bigger and better yep. um, I think with this one you know we have the ability to be you know it, it's not like uh, we, we've talked about the, uh, the the concept of house rich and cash poor and so with this one, I feel like we have the ability to have a good house and still have extra coming in to do what we want with. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've talked about adoption and so it would be an easier process to do that because we'll still have more money, excess money on top of the house that we can put into that. Or if we want to take a vacation or if we want to, you know, any anything that, you know, you might want to do with some extra cash, we'll have that because we're not putting everything into the house but the house is it's beautiful it's enough it's it's exactly what we need and more that's that's the key thing and is that we we decided to go in today and say okay what do we need what is our actual must-haves because when you're looking at model homes it's like so overwhelming to be like oh this house is beautiful it's perfect as it is but then you're like well do i really need all of these features let's go back to our must-haves and then it's okay to spend a little bit more on upgrading our kitchen or you know getting some of the lighting that we really like or the wall colors or whatever but those are you know not necessities but there are there are fun components of a model home so and, and most importantly we had the ability to talk to somebody yes. today about some of the pricing and some of the options and what's required for upfront payments mm -hmm. and when down payments are and honestly we are almost Shocked. almost ready now yeah like we're it's like maybe a couple weeks to a month mm -hmm. and we're we're ready to start the and, process. And so. also, I think to us, it's very important to see quality customer service because this is a big decision. Where we come from. Yes, yeah. this is a big decision. It's not like it's like oh, you know, this is a with any home buying, it's a huge decision. It's it's one of the biggest purchases, if not the biggest purchase of your life. And the lady today was so kind and so joyful. And like she, like I had some stupid questions because I just don't know some things. And she was just like so nice. And we talked about it too, is like afterwards, is she was genuinely so kind. Like, so we, we worked for 15 years in the customer service industry. And so when, so we appreciate that. Yeah. And so when someone makes a, what's not normal for us easier by their attitude, their efforts, their, their kindness, that hands down that goes a long way for us to making an easier choice mm -hmm. so yeah. any, anybody that makes i don't care if you're trying to sell me or not if you make the process easier yeah. i'm more likely to it, buy but you can still be kind like a, a, a couple weeks ago we looked at a home buyer and the the guy like was just irritatingly annoying mm -hmm. trying to sell us on what they were by putting other companies yeah. down and it's like well if you're so great you shouldn't have to put anybody Show me down what you got don't put somebody else yeah down. and yeah. so again today i just think the atmosphere and like us going in and we already knew these homes and we we're going in to compare um apples to apples basically like what works better for us what works better for us location wise style wise size wise and then i think the icing on the cake was really just the kindness of the agent that was there yeah. and the fact that she took the time to call us back and make the appointment and right. to sit down with us so the, the first impression like what two or three months ago was great yep second impression made us feel like we want to make it a home yeah so i, I think we both feel great about we do the process we now. do so, so it gives you some more homes to look at and you can decide on what our favorite was i'll put we did not tour all the homes that they had today because some of them are actually taken off a location because they're no longer building that style anymore which is fine the style that we were hoping for is still being built and then we'll we'll kind of just keep continuing taking you through the process we might um sit down and kind of talk later on about like our personal um, experience with like speaking to the lender and numbers and all that because these are things I feel like 
there's not a lot of information out there when it comes to personally home buying. There's a lot of misconceptions, I feel like, don't you? Like with model homes, because people just don't know. Um, and it can be very scary just to think of like, oh, I have to have everything up front money wise, or like, I don't know what they're going to need from me. So I think those are very important things to talk about and be open about. So. And I, I want to encourage anybody that's actually thinking about buying a home to actually make a list of your necessities. Because mm -hmm. so often when we're searching for something new, whether it be a car or a house, I mean, really, we're, we're trying to impress people we don't even like. Yeah. So come back to what you actually need come back to the the process of okay I need a bathroom and I need a bedroom and, and literally go through each little step if you have a big family you might need more but go through what you need not what you want to impress those people that you don't like mm -hmm. and that's super important to remember because we, we in this world and in this day and age and especially in this country we get so caught up in trying to keep up with the Joneses and it's just not worth it. Yeah. Guys. Remember, like, you're the one that's living there. That's what we keep telling us. Like, we're sharing this process with you guys because it's exciting. And who doesn't love HGTV for entertainment? Right. But overall, it's our home. We're the ones living there. So right. we're the ones that are going to obviously make the decisions that works best for us. Think about the life you want to live. Do you want your home to be a prison because you bought bigger and better? And this is all you can afford. And you have to work to just pay that yeah. home off. Or do you want freedom to do other things? give things whatever you know that's something that's important to us yep. we don't want our home to be a prison right we want to still continue with our values of being able to give back in the ways that we've been able to and we don't want to sign a mortgage and then all of a sudden like we cannot longer give back or 100%. you know create those opportunities for us and other people so. so just an encouragement to keep that in mind when you're looking for places I know everything looks great it's bigger it's better it's fantastic and if you can afford that and still do the life you want then fantastic but is it, is it really what you want, really what you need? Yeah. Something to keep in mind, guys. Keep in mind. But moving forward, just depending on when we hear back, which should be soon, um, the next few steps for us are going to be to talk with their lender, get our numbers all set, and then we're going to go to look at the um, warehouse, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know actually what it's called. To pick what items we want. Features, upgrades, stuff like that. They have a whole warehouse that we can go check out to see what the options are. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. A little bit stressful because you can't picture it in yeah. your specific home, but it's, you know, it'll be a fun process. But she also said like to not stress about it because most people overthink it. And she said that, you know, it, we have all the paperwork so we can actually see what's included in before the home we yeah. before we go. And then we can make, we're make, gonna make a list of things that like are important to us to upgrade. Things that we want to put our money in to, you know, have our home be our home. Whether it's our forever home or our first home or whatever it ends up being. So we will we will take you through like the detail process because I think that's also fun to see what people pick and what upgrades and to see the warehouse and all of those things. So we'll, that will probably be the next video that absolutely, we make. Absolutely, absolutely. Good times. So we had a lot of fun today. We're very excited. Um, and we thank you just for watching this video and going along with the process with us. There'll be more home videos coming up, you know, in the timely manner that they are. If you missed the first video, like I said, I'll link it below, but that's all we have for you guys today. So have an awesome day. We'll see, you, see you in our next video. Bye.